Welcome back. Uh, in, in this uh, video about the uh, completion guide for the FT Flyer, I'm going to talk about the firewall. So the firewall that comes in the kit looks like this. It's uh, 764 plywood. Uh, it's got a bunch of holes in it. and uh, But they cost, uh, you can get a five pack of these for five dollars or you can buy the power pot itself with a firewall in it like that okay so you can buy the power pack um, foam and the firewall together and you get a, a five pack of those for seven dollars and 99 cents or you make one <laughs> okay so if you want to make one uh, there's all kinds of, of plywood you can buy this is uh, 1 16th uh, plywood it's too thin okay um, there's 764 plywood uh, and I like to measure in millimeters 764 is 2.63 millimeters um, that's okay that uh, perfectly matches what this is well, yeah it perfectly matches what the firewall that they sell is it's uh, five ply plywood uh, good aircraft uh, model grade plywood and but you can also get a 1 8 which is the 1 8 is uh, 3.09 millimeters and um, it's still got uh, five plies on them but they're thicker plies a little bit and so it's a full 1 8 so I'm going to use a full 1 8 I have an extra piece here uh, I just trimmed it up it had some jagged edges and so forth and so I've got a, um, uh, a bench, hobby bench, um, table saw, because I do a lot of building and hobby stuff. Um, if you don't have that, <laughs> go buy one of these for a buck <laughs> or five bucks, forget five, um, or eight bucks to get five of these. Um, um. But I like to build things and sometimes I'll just build it on my own. So this piece I just trimmed to the outside. I can get three pieces, three firewalls out of it. So I'm going to cut one out here and I'll be back in just a second. So I'm back and uh, I've cut out my firewall. Okay. And I went ahead and drilled the three holes in it. Um, four holes, I guess. Uh, the two holes in the top are for the um, support for the wing uh, to slide through. Uh, the center is just an opening in case the uh, motor goes, uh, sticks out into the firewall a little bit. Some motors do. This, this small hole down here in the uh, lower corner is uh, for the uh, bullet connectors to come in so they can connect to the ESC. Uh, it didn't have to be square like this. It can be round. Don't know why they made it square. But that's okay. It doesn't have to be as big as that either. It's, it's big enough. So, um... The, uh, I guess the holes were, uh, let's see, 1164s for the two holes on the top. The center hole was uh, 13 30 seconds, and the uh, small hole at the bottom was uh, 9 30 seconds. So having a good uh, drill, a good saw, and a nice set of uh, drill bits, you can do this. If you don't have all this, spend the dollar it takes to buy one of these. Uh, I'm doing it just for fun. Uh, by the way, one other thing you're going to need for the firewall are some screws to sc screw the motor into the firewall. I recommend using um, these. These are um, servo mounting screws. The servo mounting screws, you get them from Heads Up Hobby, a package of 10 cost $1.25. They do have a, um, a hex head on top of, and I like that. I think it's probably a two millimeter hex head. We'll check that out later. Um, but you're going to need four of those and so a package is ending so bad for $1.25. So um, that's everything for the firewall. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.